Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Sliding out of the pocket. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. He finds an opening past the 40. And he'll finally be taken down just shy of midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Six-yard pickup brings up second and four. At the now back to throw. That's complete to his receiver, Ayuk. Good. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Mostert. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. At the 10-yard line. Now Moster. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. They'll roll him out right. Now he's got it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Going to give it to Love, and he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Bryce Love, his first touchdown on the year. And the 49ers drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. The score, Niners. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taking it about the 1. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 27. He'll set up to throw from the gun. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 23 yards the pick up there. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. And the Dolphin first down. Off of play action. Tug of Iloa. Throwing right, and that's complete. 
And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. Two and now on first down. Dancing to his left. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And this is going to be intercepted. Snags it for the pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. Now the deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. The 40. Pass the 20. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle, an 80-yard touchdown. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly for six. Lining up for the point after. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play guy a question. <laughs> hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Back-to-back -back plays of right around 30 yards, and the field position has totally been flipped. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Leads to second and goal. On second down, to a three-yard line. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And now look at him go. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Lining up for the point after. Part of what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense that gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. Taking it about the one. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. 21 0, our score after one. Dolphins, nothing.
the reason we ball for. Circle round twice for the arm. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. Rush coming, and he's taken down. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And They're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. Normally, you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, Maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. And a throw right sideline is complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back to back, nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Nice snag by Devontae Parker. While wow, it took him five years in the league to have his first 1,000 yard season, he broke out in a big way. The former first round pick had career highs across the board in 2019. In fact, his touchdown total for the year equaled his career total to date. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I know that rookie quarterbacks have to earn veteran receivers' trust. Maybe we saw that on that play with that type of effort, huh? Yeah, helping out the Rook with a heck of a catch. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So after the incompletion, second and ten from the 22. Two and a throw again. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Coming into the week, he's the NFL's leader in receiving yards. There's his first catch, and it's good for a first down. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Miles Gaskin, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Dolphins are able to cut into this lead. Down three scores already. This game was really in danger of getting away from them. They needed a drive like that, especially on the road. Not only to calm themselves, but maybe tamp down the crowd a little bit because everything was against them. As you noted, this game could have gotten away from them very easily, but instead, the calming drive, now they have a little bit more confidence. Okay, we're back in it. All right, we're ready to go. That was impressive. And the defense now needs to reciprocate. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time. To see if the and the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Second and long. Samuel bringing in the slam. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. A gain of 10 brings up third and six. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Completes it to Samuel. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 15 for the Niners there, the first down. Back to throw here. And he 
his throw is going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. George Kittle, the receiver that he was looking for. And it's third down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. They'll look to throw again. Oh, when this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him, and what I mean by that is what you said. Third and long, got to push it downfield to try and pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation, and they took advantage of the young man right there. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They come in off a touchdown drive the last time they had the ball. That cut down the lead. Now the defense does their part, got them the football back. So now maybe with the touchdown they scored previously. And this is caught. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A big play there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Dolphins strike quickly here for six points. And he's able to put it through. Makes the score Niners 21, Dolphins 14. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Emmanuel Agba in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. The pass. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. Back to throw now on first down. Looking for Ayuk, and he's got him. 20! And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, and he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Raheem Mostert with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. Dolphins 14. Robbie Gold to kick off for San Francisco. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Their own 20 yard line.
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drives exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Tua. And over the middle, this is Parker. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. He's going to rifle. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A big play there as the first half is winding down. And the Dolphins able to get this back within a touchdown. The kick is good. And he puts it through. Makes the score Niners 28, Dolphins 21. Jason Sanders to kick off for Miami. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Now we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. taken down but not before they work it across midfield and with just four seconds left in this first half a timeout call and unless this is a quick incompletion this is likely the last play here of this first half and they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten complete out to Samuel on the quick throw so we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. But gutsy call there. Yeggs at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They were already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. Now left side of the swing pass. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. Tua looking to throw on third and two. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Complete to number and Remember, 17. partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Miami. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Now this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The 
San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. The tackle may They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Brings up second and four. Now a quick throw as they get it to Ayuk outside. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Raheem Mostert with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the 49ers add six to their lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. At their own 24-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. At the 23-yard line. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On play action, here's Tua. He's going to fire one deep left side. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That goes for a gain of 31. Dolphins. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Here's Tua. He's going to let it go again. That's going to be caught. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. A big play there. 46 yards. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. That ties the game. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that will tie our game here in the third. Jason Sanders to kick off for Miami. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. At the 30 Again, they'll run it with Moster, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. What a breakout season where he most have had in 2019, and now he's got a chance to be the lead back for his team. In fact, he spent time in the offseason bulking up, trying to get stronger to absorb the extra hits and be available for more snaps. He wants to be a guy who carries the ball from game one through game 16 in the regular season. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 47. He'll look to throw. That's caught by his running back, Raheem Mostert. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. They run out of the shotgun with Moster. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. 
A gain of four. It's now second. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. And across the chalk. Into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. George Kittle with his second touchdown of the game. Number seven on the year. And the 49ers have moved out in front. Gold with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A big play there. 77 yards. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And this one through the uprights and good. That ties the game at 42 all. Jason Sanders to kick off for Miami. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kicks away. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Raheem Mostert, 75 yards. And the 49ers have moved out in front. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Makes the score, Niners 49, Dolphins 42. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch-counterpunch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. Two and now on first down. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And that takes us from second to third down. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. On third and long, it's Tugavailoa. Steps away to his left. 
He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, the and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Their own 20-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway, and they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we usually think about a passing play, right? Something in the air, deep ball, but what about them just taking it? Big time, John. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play-action pass could very well be open. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Brandon Ayuk, the one he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Eluding the pressure right. And this is going to be incomplete. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. On play action, they'll throw. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 41. And look at this. They get... Oh, no. He lost the football. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football. Lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. George Kittle, 35 yards. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. And the lead is up to 14. He is good. Makes the score, Niners 56, Dolphins 42. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before, realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 36-yard line. Off of play action, tongue by Loa, rolling to his right. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Tua setting up shop to throw again. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And incomplete on the deep ball. Will Fuller was the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. He's going to take another shot here. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. 
Fair to say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far, but a nice job there to prevent a long completion. I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try to stop this exhibition of almost speed racing that we've been watching, huh? Yeah, it has been quarterback and receiver dominated. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. With that, he has done what nobody else has done in the first century of NFL football. He has gone over over 400 yards receiving in a single game. Simply incredible. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. His throw here is incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. We got three, we got three, we got three. That's two, that's two, that's two. Here? They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. Flushed out right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And that is incomplete. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed. The it's caught inside the 25. I'm going to show you, man. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Debo Samuel, his third touchdown now on the year. And the 49ers add on to their lead. Gold to add the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Makes the score Niners 63, Dolphins 42. Robbie Gold to kick off four seconds. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. 23-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Being chased out left. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Congo by Aloha. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak, and while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close, but the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Fuller. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 15 yards on the play, first down. And again, it's Tonga Bailoa. 
He'll rifle this one deep right side. And this is taken in at the five. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Touchdown, Mike Gesicki, his second touchdown on the season. And the Dolphins are able to draw a bit closer. And he's got it up and through. Makes the score, Niners 63, Dolphins 49. Jason Sanders to kick off for Miami. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taking it about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. get there this time and they bring him down okay you know my bias is about to come out here a lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction i'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back former defensive guy now as a quarterback third and long you really got to rally the troops here don't you yeah you do in a big way and what else do you have to look out for more pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well now a deep ball here, hauled in just past the 50. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A huge gain of 40 yards on the third down conversion. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. A lane there to run is Mostert able to get about seven there on first down. Good gain there on first down. That keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. He stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Third down and two. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. 36 yard line. This is Mostert. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. So Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. What were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Niners, their strong September has carried over to October as they move to 5-0. And, oh. and they'll have another home date next week as the L.A. Rams come to town. Meanwhile, for Miami, the loss will move them back to 3-2 and two on the year. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel to Denver to take on the Broncos. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.